Hello everyone, Teresa Benson from Redline Controls with another example of how simple it is to set up OPC UA server uh, and have it work with an OPC UA client. In this case, we're going to use the write functionality. So real quick, we've got a uh, primitive here being filled between zero and 100. That value can change based on the value I set here for integer max. So now it's going between zero and 80. I can also change this uh, floating point value and we can see that that's reflected. Now I'm doing all of that from our web server on this 10 inch graphite. And we can see in our OPC UA client that the value is changing on that integer and we see the floating point value and the integer value, integer max value. If I try and change it here, uh, it goes back to 81. I don't currently have write privileges on my server. So let's see how simple that is to set up. We're going to go over to Crimson 3.1. We're in the OPC UA server services area. And all we need to do in order to enable rights is to go ahead and choose yes here. Send that to our HMI. We're going to see some numbers reset. Uh, if I put a floating point number in here, I see it change, but I can now come over to my OPC UA client and I can make changes in the client and see that reflected in my HMI. So let's change this max value here. Let's say I want to make it 71. I'm going to see it change. We saw it just change and now it goes between 0 and 70. I can also change this floating point value and we'll see that reflected in the floating point data tag on our HMI. That's it. That's how simple it is to set up write functionality with the new OPC UA server in Crimson 3.1. Join us here for more tips and tricks and I look forward to seeing you soon.